All right, guys, quick gun tutorial. So you're taking apart a gun, and uh, you see them pins there? Say, oh no, I scratched the paint on my pins. Well, easy touch up method I use. I keep a bunch of those. Uh, take one or any piece, two pick will work. Use a knife, sharpen the end, okay? Take your paint pen, check it up here. Run you some out there. Just dab it like that. You run a lot out there. Then uh, take your little wooden dowel that you've sharpened. Dab it in there. Just the tip. Just a little more. And these are my personal guns. Uh, I don't really care. Just making a little quick tip video for you guys. I don't really do editing or anything. I don't have time. Uh, I work all the time. So I just roll with what I do, man, when I record these videos. Touch up a little right there too. And this back one. Just, uh, you know, touch up a little bit. Um, it only takes a couple minutes because this is a Polymer 80 I did and I ordered the colored pins off eBay and as soon as you tap them, even with a brass punch, they come out. It just knocks the paint off because these little pins, they don't, uh, they don't hold very well. A little color for you. You can see I've colored that in. Strike Industries, I colored that in. Uh, I bought the pins colored, but that one needs a little more while I'm here. Just kind of let it dry, and there you go. It's easy to do. Uh, the colored parts and stuff I bought on eBay. Check this side out. I think it's good though. Uh, trigger, it's got a Serpco trigger in it. Just let them dry. You can see right there, I messed up a little bit, but that's okay. It's my gun. I built this one to carry. Um, yeah. You see the pins do make it, oops. The pins do make a difference. It's got a Trigicon night sights on it. Uh, yeah, I just went for a blue look on this one. So just a quick tip. Uh, yeah, just take your little dial. You see how I sharpen it there? You can do a toothpick, anything you want. And then a uh, little paint pen, a little puddle. Put it on wherever you want. I did the same right there. Um, yeah, guys. Just a quick tip video with a paint pen. Um, here's another one I built. Polymer 80, I did. Uh, I kind of went the chrome and the blue the titanium it's got a lone wolf trigger in it uh yeah this one actually is a brown ales polymer 80 they're exclusive texture and i like it i mean it looks good to me you know it's a little more fine than the standard polymer 80. um it's just the brown ales exclusive glock 19s I built four or five so far and I like them. And even though I haven't put a Trigicon or a Holosun, I always get the RMR cut slides. You know, just a, one day I did put suppressor height sights on this and I like them. I was gonna put an RMR on this gun or a Holosun or a Swamp Fox Liberty or a Justice, but I actually like the high sights. And then I was like, you know, uh, I'm good, and this one, you know, I kind of want to conceal carry. That's why I didn't do the threaded barrel. Let me break it down for you guys. I did go with a threaded, fluted, I mean, non threaded, fluted barrel um, on this one. But yeah, there's your quick little, you can do screws, you know, if you want to color the inside of your screws. And the good thing about it, you know, if you're like me, 
you like what you like and you don't it doesn't have to be 100 percent perfect look at that hammerhead i got a brand new one though this is just an old one but it doesn't have to be perfect you know as long as it looks good from five feet away ten feet away to me i don't care i like what i like and uh, i use my stuff and yeah but uh there's your little quick tip video on how to color fill pens and stuff uh take it easy guys